Hey, bud. You want to go play with some begonias? What do you think? You want to come? It'll be so fun. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Can you get up off your snoozy spot? Hi there. So today I wanted to come on here. We're going to be planting some big begonias. And uh, I planted 20 seeds, I think 17 days ago now. And I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a progress update. I think I've got some pictures from prior days. But so these begonia seeds, they are supposed to germinate within 14 to 60 days. Um, apparently they're not the easiest seeds or annuals to grow. Uh, I grow them every year, but I personally don't grow them. My brother-in-law and sister Coco grow them for me in their greenhouse and they usually don't open their greenhouse up until like March. So these begonias, they always uh, have germination success on them, but they are very slow growers as well. So they're usually not ready to plant out in my garden until like halfway into the summer, which is fine. Uh, they they still look beautiful, uh, but they're just super small. And so I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get some seeds myself and uh, plant them up, put them under my grow light on top of a heat mat and see what we can do. I only bought 20 seeds uh, because I, I just wanted to test it out and see how it would go first. And I am, beyond pleasantly surprised with the success. So I wanna show you guys eight days, and I'll jump to a little video here, but eight days after I seeded them, I came down here to water and they had already started germinating. I think I had 13 out of the 20 up. And then that very next day, on day nine, uh, all 20 of them were, were up. It was crazy, I couldn't believe it. They're very microscopic and tiny, but all 20 of them were up on day nine. So it hadn't even hit the 14 uh, to 60 day mark yet, which was insane to me. Now we're 17 days in and I wanna show you what they look like. Uh, they're getting a little bit bigger. Uh, I have the light on around 14 hours a day. I started out doing that, uh, for around 12 to 14 hours a day and then I just kept it on for a lot longer but my brother-in-law said no keep it at 14 hours a day so I did that um, here I'll show you what we have here I did plant them in this tiny little container here there's no drainage or anything they really don't need it when they're this tiny because they don't want to dry out so I, I read that off of the internet from someone who has had success growing these before but so just right in this little container I had this lid over top of them as like a dome to hold in the moisture for quite some time. I did notice that there were there was some like molding going on in the in the soil there uh, so I took the dome off of it and that seemed to go away. Now that they have germinated I really don't need this uh, lid on it too much anymore. So we're just gonna kind of let them do their thing, but look at that, all 20 of them came up. I honestly can't believe it. And that one's tiny, tiny right there. There was a ladybug in here walking around in the dirt, like right around this area. So I think it might've stepped on that, or I don't know if they eat begonias or whatever, but I am like so happy <laughs> that these turned out how they did. And so happy, in fact, that I asked my sister if she would order me some seeds from Ivy Garth, which is a company she gets uh, her seeds from at like kind of a wholesale price. So I got these 20 seeds for like $12, I think. It was like six, almost six bucks a piece for 10, or six bucks for a pack of 10 seeds. And I was able to get with my sister, no, nobody, he likes to sit on this heat, heat mat. <laughs> Uh, and I was able to get with my sister a hundred seeds for twenty dollars, so much better deal. I'm just gonna use these little containers like I did with that, and we'll see. 
how many we can get. Get those planted in the containers and then we will see, hopefully, hopefully we'll see that they'll germinate as well as the other ones did, but I don't know, we'll see. It could have been a fluke, <laughs> uh, but we're gonna certainly try. And then hopefully the begonias will be ready to plant by the beginning of the season. All right, you ready, bud? You ready to plant? You're gonna have to move. You're gonna have to move, bud. All right, let's go. I just have my seed starter mix. This is what I used last time. I know somebody suggested a different type of soil, which I'll, maybe I'll try next time, but I got this whole bag I'm gonna use up. This is just the Jiffy brand I got from Home Depot. And I got it while we were in like a snowstorm. <laughs> The last three weeks we've been covered in snow. It finally just melted, but this was all that was available to me, so that's what we're using. Um, I'm just gonna add some water in this nice fluffy soil and mix it up. And my spoon, just have a little spoon here. want to make sure all the soil soil has enough moisture all the way through to support my little seeds I might get some more in there oh actually it feels pretty good so now I'm just gonna take my spoon and flatten it as best as I can on the on the top here uh, because those seeds the begonia seeds, they need light to germinate and it's so important that if it gets covered up by any sort of soil at all, there's a chance that it will not germinate because it won't have enough light. So um, I'm just flattening this off as much as I can and we're going to set the seeds right on top of the soil. We're not going to cover them with anything, we're literally just going to set them on top of the soil. and water them and leave them and hopefully eight to nine days later <laughs> uh, they will be germinated like the other ones if not then we'll go for 14 days but all right so that's pretty flat you can see there's not really like fluffy bits sticking up anywhere it's a nice flat surface so let's get our seeds in there like i said i got these seeds from a company called ivy garth they always draw a picture on the package and say thank you. Max is bumping the stand there. But they are a great company and unfortunately they only sell wholesale. So I, I'm very blessed to be able to order these through my sister. Uh, I don't take that for granted, that is for sure. But um, I'm gonna open these up. There's a hundred seeds in here. They should come in a little vial. I'll show you. We'll see, hopefully because they're the tiniest little seeds. Yes, oh my gosh. Holy cow, that is crazy! It's so crazy. Here is the vial with the 100 seeds in there. They are so tiny. I uh, don't mind my fingers. I play the guitar, so I'm, I got calluses on my fingers. But anyway, look at that. Isn't that nuts? so tiny there's a hundred of them in there so what i did last time is i just kind of took my toothpick and i got it like a little bit wet i guess with the soil and then grabbed one of the seeds and hope that yeah it sticks to it so i'll i'll give you bring you in closer but i got one of the seeds at the tip of my toothpick there and i'm just gonna stick it right on top of the dirt there's another one in this lid i'm gonna get that first and i could probably plant them a little bit closer than i did this one i wasn't sure so i gave these ones quite a bit of space but uh i'll try to get 50 in here and then 50 in that other one um but yeah i'm just basically going to continue that and i'm just going to grab one of the little seeds. It's not, you can't see that very good, but it's on there. And then just stick it right on top of the dirt. 
All right. Let me get you closer so you can see. All right, I might have to dump these out onto something, but I'm gonna try, try to just leave them in here. But there's so much static going on. <laughs> like when I try to grab it, it jumps away. So let's see. Let me put a couple of them on this little paper here. We'll start with those. Right. Honestly, I could probably get all hundred of them in this little container because I could do 10 rows of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I could probably do 10 rows of 10. Oh my gosh, there's so little. All right, what was that? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, let's try to get them all in here. That'd be sweet. Obviously, I'll eventually have to transplant them. So you can see I've got 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Also, my sister came over this morning and dropped the seeds off, and she gave me these two uh these two rings that she made which is really nice paper is probably not a good idea one two three four I get 10 rows, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I can get 10 rows. All right, so let's keep it going. Here, I'll move it just a second. Oh, let me get this one more, just in case. Hello, buddy. Come here. that I have them all planted, I'm just gonna take my squirt bottle and get them wet. And you will see, I don't, I don't even know how many I put in the rows. I ended up like doing it a little bit differently because there's more room. Uh, like once you got right about here, there's more room up there. So I didn't do 10 rows of 10, I don't think. But I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows of a little bit more than 10. They look pretty good. And then after that, I will just go ahead and put this lid on. And I'm not gonna 
you know, tighten it up or anything like that. I'm not gonna close it up. I'm literally just setting it on here. I'm gonna leave these on this heat mat and under these grow lights until they germinate and after. But I will go ahead and leave this little lid on here just as an added extra dome for moisture. What I found with this one was as soon as these germinated, I took the dome off because I did notice, like I mentioned before, that these did start getting mold on it. These did start getting mold on the dirt. So as soon as I took this lid off of there, that helped with that problem. But I did keep it on there until they germinated. I will come down here and check these every day to see if they need water at all. The other cool thing about this lid or dome, I guess, if you will, is it provides so much moisture that what I would do is honestly, I would come down here to check it for if it needed water and there'd be so much of condensation built up on the top of this lid. I would literally just like shake the lid and all the little droplets of water would go down and water the seedlings and I really didn't even need to water. You can actually kind of see starting to create some condensation in there already. And then we literally just put this dome on like two minutes ago. <laughs> so. Uh, you can imagine with any sort of time, this is going to collect more of that condensation and you can use that to water. Now, when you take this lid off after germination has happened, I will come in here and water either with my spray bottle, if it doesn't need that much, if it has dried out quite a bit more, I'll use my watering can to give it a little bit more saturation. I am going to go in while I'm here and write down when I seeded these just so I can kind of keep track of how many days it takes to germinate them and this is February 1st happy February y'all happy February so February 1st we will see how many days it takes I'm hoping hoping it works <laughs> we will see it is kind of cool to test out seeds from different companies too. Like I said, I have grown these begonias from Ivy Garth before and they do great. They just usually ended up seeding them further into the winter or early, early spring and it takes a little bit longer. But it was fun to try some seeds from a different company. I got these from Swallowtail and every single one of them came up. So I would highly recommend getting seeds from them if you can't get them from a wholesale company like I was able to. But. Um, I can link this heat pad on the bottom of this movie and also I'll link this uh, grow light stand. It's a six shelf stand with eight grow lights that come with it. So that's pretty cool. I think I got it for 200 bucks. I got it for Christmas and we had it on sale, but um, I thought it was a pretty good deal. Uh, the, there's this stand here and then there's that one beside me. You can make it go like just one stand of six shelves I separate it into two of three because I'm not that tall and I didn't want to have to reach to the top of a giant stand. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you're having success with your seeds that you're planting as well. I'm hoping to get these begonias going and then I might start on some beacon and patience and what else did I get? I think Cosmos, the zinnias I'll probably wait, I might even self seed those. I don't know, we'll see. But this is just the start. <laughs> All right, well, I hope that you're having a great winter, enjoying your kind of slumber season because before you know it, the spring is gonna be here and we are all gonna be rearing and ready to go. I hope that you're just enjoying this break, this time off that we have, and I can't wait to see you guys again. Bye. I usually open the slider for a few minutes because there's no in there anymore.